there's some epic music playing in the background. Almost like we're about to slay the dragon. Although I don't know how how likely that's going to be. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Mark Summers, Major Linux, twitch.tv slash Major Linux, and it's time once again for another episode of Tech Talk Thursdays. It is September 12th, 2024. Um, before I go any further, because he says I don't call him, I'm going to try it again. But of course, while I'm doing that, we've got Kevin, Kev, it's your boy, Kev, in the building. What's good, everybody? And sipping tea from a burgundy place. It's Zinziak in the building. Greetings and salutations in an animated form, no less. That's right. We are we are experiencing we're experimenting with VTubing. We've want, we've gone from static images to a GIF now. Sin is slowly slipping into the Cineverse. Gentlemen, how are y'all doing today? We're pretty good. I'm pretty good. Mm. Let's see. Today we've got um, a lot of labor news, to, 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 to say the least. Mm -hmm. I've yet again forgot to share the, the list with the gentleman. But yes, there is some quite a bit of labor news, quite a bit of Apple news. And one piece of news that I'm actually really excited about. Because it's about medical technology that could benefit me once you know I can afford the medical technology. Mm -hmm. Well, that'll be that and more on this week's episode of Tech Talk Thursday. Of course, let's start off with Diabetes Tech. Um, Abbott's OTC glucose monitor is now available in the U.S., um, this is the Freestyle Libre. Da, ba, da. I used to know the name. I know the Libre 3 was available over, uh, was not available over the counter. Looks so like they're calling it the Lingo? It seems like, yeah, they're calling it the Freestyle Lingo. Um, it is like a little patch you can wear on your arm. It continues to read your blood pre um, your um, blood sugar, reports it to your phone. And from there, you can share it wherever you want, but it does stay local to the phone. Um, I was using the Libre 2 for quite some time. Um, I'm not entirely sure how continuous it is. I know like with the Libre 2, I had to scan it every eight hours. Or we're about to get a continuous monitoring. If I let it lapse, then there's like a few minutes or like however long I let it lapse is missing from the um the reading. But um yeah, at least like every eight hours I can get like a continuous monitor. I'm not sure what these newer ones are capable of, but I am excited. I do not need a doctor's note or a prescription to get it now. Um these sell for about I think it was fifty dollars. Mm. Yeah, fifty dollars for a sensor. You can get a double pack for ninety and a six pack for two forty nine. So they do kind of run up. They are expensive, but they're not. I'm glad it's like fifty dollars out of pocket instead of like fifty dollars with a uh, prescription. Because I I would get the two pack, but it would cost me a hundred with um with insurance. So the fact that I can buy a two pack for 90 bucks with no insurance is actually a pretty good deal. Cause who knows how much this shit costs with insurance. I don't remember and I don't want to remember. Mm. 
Oh crap, Sin, you are not perceived in, in animated form. Why not? Um, I forgot to turn it on on this scene. So I'm, I'm, I'm fixing it now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So while I do that, I was... um, what, 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 are we, what are we thinking about this amazing piece of medical tech for our diabetics? That's awesome. Like, you know, gives you gives you a lot of give you a lot of freedom and control. You don't have to like prick. You don't have to prick your fingers because that's something my mom has to go through a lot. Is pricking her fingers. So, so, so it's a wonderful thing. Technology, especially in the medical field, is always a wonderful thing when used properly and not gouging yeah. people. Mm -hmm. Yes, was not being Martin Screlled. Yeah. Okay, now I am curious as to what the hell I'm listening to. <laughs> um, moving on to some labor news. We're going to take a dip into labor news and take a dip out and then go right back into it. Um, an Apple store in Oklahoma City is close to approving an union, an union agreement for its workers. Um, a tentative labor agreement includes wage raises, a safe arbitration process, greater job protections, and severance pay. Um, these are for the Apple Store in Oklahoma City workers at the Penn Square Mall Apple Store. It's good to see that the CWA is doing work. Um, I've been out with the CWA um, at their strike lines for AT&T um, over here in uh, Southeast. Hopefully they're close to getting a deal done as well. But yeah, it's good. It's good to see CWA putting in some work. Um, I had a note about the CWA because they came up today. So I was just like, hmm. Interesting little like bit of evolution growth, if you will. Well, we can get into that when the CWA crops up again later on in in the evening. Um, yep, I'm making sure. I thought I had it. Yeah, I do. I do. Because, yeah, it's a bunch of that happening this week. Um... In other Apple related news, please remember you don't need that new phone. You absolutely do not. And yes, it comes up a lot with the iPhone, but remember Android as well. Any phone really, you don't need it. You don't, I or if you phone. do refurbish, I need a new phone, but, but I got a four a a. So it's about time. <laughs> so refurbished. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why exploit the Congo even more? But see, I don't buy every year. I just buy it once. Refurbished. Every four years. Yeah, I'll look into that. The set, look, the sevens, the, the seven A, the eight A's are better than the four A that you have. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely, I'm definitely supposed been to get eight I, years of updates. So, or seven or eight years of updates. I'm, I don't think I you're missing been, out I, by not getting the latest and greatest. I mean, I'm not getting like, oh, I'm not getting the nine. The I'm getting latest. The eight I'm sorry. Yeah, let's say, I'm sorry. Let's say the latest. Yeah, I'm not getting the nine. Absolutely not. But. But uh, definitely. Well, the nine A is not even out yet, so there's that. Yeah, so that's why I'm like, I'm oh, waiting yeah, for so those eight. You, yeah, seven A. That's what I'm saying. The seven A's, the eight A's. I'm waiting for the eight A to go down. But if the seven, but if the eight A don't go down until about September into this month, I'm gonna have to jump on the seven A. Again, like I said, refurbished is always good. You can still find some um, very good refurbished devices that are fairly up to date. Mm -hmm. 
again. Yeah. We, we, as much as, sure, we would love new phone to last as long as it can, there is still the thing of there are kids, there are women, there are people in the Congo overall who are dying to provide us with yeah. these latest yeah. and greatest. If if it was if it was not for the fact that my my battery is literally swelling, <laughs> I mean, into the case, I, I would pretty well, much squeeze another year out of it. I mean, we can look up and see how long. I mean, see if there's a Pixel Four A um, repair guide on I fix it. Yeah. Get some tools. I mean, I'll I'll repair I'll repair this for my mom, but I'll like I'll just go ahead and give me I'll just go ahead and give me an eight A or seven A when it's time. But yeah, you don't um, need no new iPhone. <laughs> let's see. Ruin says, you definitely do not need the new shiny phone. Have y'all ever asked someone why they buy the new phone every year? I was that guy. Briefly. Yep. Like, it was... It was 10. It was the iPhone 10. Well, no, it wasn't every... It was from the 11 Pro to the 12 Pro. That was the only year I bought one after the other. Right. But I did go from 10 to 11 Pro, 12 Pro, 14 Pro. Mm -hmm. And now here it is. The 16 Pro is here, and I'm not picking up a 16 Pro. Um, one, because, you know, I don't control the purse rings anymore. So there's that. Also, I don't know if, like, I think when I got the 14 Pro, they rise and switch to, hey, it's not new every two anymore. It's new every three. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm like, damn, you caught me. Mm -hmm. Um, Every time I've asked someone, their reason is like, I just want the most up-to-date one. Yeah, that's just a waste. That is that is landfill nonsense. That, that, is, that is just a waste. That is really just a waste. I mean, but they do make that nice secondary market for people like Kev who are looking into newer devices. Yeah. Um. I used to upgrade every year and pass the phones down. I could have the latest in my family could get a phone. Now that's not as necessary, so I don't upgrade every year. Yeah, that's I think what my family is doing. That's what my family is doing without me now. Yeah. Because I think my dad is that person. He's not like he needs to have the newest one when they come out because he doesn't know that. And I refuse to tell him that. Mm -hmm. Um, But it's like he'll wander into a Verizon store and it's like, oh, there's a new iPhone. I should totally get that. And then they play like phone shuffle. <sighs> but yeah. Um, with all of that being said, Apple has revealed the iPhone 16 lineup, um, including the 16, 16 plus, 16 pro and 16 pro max, along with watch, um, watch series 10, no new ultras, AirPods 4, iOS 18, and so many, so much more. Um, the iPhones, they all now have, um, the action button on the side, but they also all got a camera button. Um, so that way you can hold your phone like a landscape camera and push the camera button and it takes a photo. Also, for some strange reason, they decided to put the settings into that camera phone as if they weren't already accessible on a screen that you could just tap. That's what I was thinking, because I was like, cool, a dedicated camera button. Awesome. And then it's like, oh, you can you can like manipulate the white balance and exposure and shutter speed. And I'm like, I think we could always do that. It was like, <laughs> didn't really they, they, they justified about it. Look, you have this clean preview of an image and you don't want to disturb that with icons and shit, do you? Like, I mean, to be fair. See the icons. If <laughs> I'm using a DLSR or a mirrorless camera, I can see why you would want that. If you had, if you were looking through a viewfinder and you can see the settings in a viewfinder, right? But mm -hmm. it's all screen. There's no yeah. viewfinder, yeah. and I notice that myself along with others when we are using the screen of the camera. Yeah, we are manipulating the items on the camera screen on that big ass or on the, the the two and a half three inch screen that's there. Like, what are we doing? That was like the dumbest fucking feature I'd ever like the camera button. Great. 
all that shit you piled in there just to justify it? No, not great. Um, I didn't watch this. There are better features than this. I hope phone upgrades are normally boring, but this is up there. Yeah, it's not great. Um, see, there's also visual intelligence, which is Google lens, but for Apple devices, both have, both phones have larger batteries. Let's see the pro max comes with grade five titanium, I guess. Um, it's capable of 4k 120, but, um, yeah, not really much to write home about. Like the only thing I feel like they're going to use to sell these phones is Apple intelligence, which is a thing that is not available right now. It should be available 18.1. Um, but yeah, like there's nothing with these phones that are like unique, amazing, anything. And it's like, this just really seems like a waste. The one thing I did not like though, is the fact that, you know, they discontinued the iPhone 15 pro. So even if I wanted to upgrade just to the one below it, can't do it. I mean, unless I go refurbished. Um, airport AirPods four launched today as well. Um, they, put USB-C on the um, case, got a speaker so you can hear it when you're using Find My. They are selling two versions of these though. There are ones without um, active noise canceling, canceling, and there is a second one that does have noise cancellation, transparency mode, conversation awareness, so that way when somebody, when it detects that you are, in, in, you are having a conversation, it'll mute the music or the audio for you. And then when you stop talking, it'll play the music back. Um, AirPods Max got new colors and is also USB-C. I mean, that definitely makes sense because, yeah. Um, and AirPods Pro is bringing new hearing aid features. Um, at the time of the announcement, it was not verified or whatever it takes by the FDA or yeah, I think it's the FDA food and drug administration, but I believe the next day they, that feature did get approved. So, um, it should be, it should be good. Now there's also another feature called hearing protection. Um, which I guess now will allow people to use their AirPods pro as earbud. I mean like it's, it's earplugs. E-waste is the educational model. I think we're looking for iWaste. Um, Apple Watch Series 10, bigger screen, thinner device. It can help with ambient temperature of the water, I think. I don't know. And they made the Apple Ultra Two. They made the Apple Watch Ultra Two in black. But yeah, not much to write home about. Really, don't see like even if it wasn't for, if, even if they were ethically sourcing materials for these devices. I do not see a reason to buy them. No. Like there is no need to upgrade. It, like I still feel like if you still have like a 14 Pro or something like that. Oh, absolutely. There yeah. is no reason. Nah. There is no reason. Nah. None whatsoever. Especially if you have like those like Pro and Pro Maxes. Like there's no way. Why would you? Like. 
be like, why would be like, why would you? Yeah, there's no need. There's no need. No need. Yeah. I feel like if you go out and buy an iPhone, you should instead be handed a plane ticket to the Congo mm. and be told mine your own minerals for your phone. Um, every year we are like this new iPhone is pointless, but they sell millions of them. I mean, yes, I'm telling you there is no reason to do it. People will do it anyway. It's not like people listen to me. I'm not Mark German. I'm not Ming Chi Kuo. Evel is doing more than most about using recycled materials, but agree no need to upgrade every year. Again, when you're still telling me you're carbon neutral, you're trying to go for carbon neutral by 2030. Yeah, I'm sorry. That, that term has been used so much. It, it means nothing to me. Because it means that Apple will still continue to burn precious resources, regardless of whether or not they're like offsetting it somewhere else. They're still contributing heavily to a lot of um, what's going into our environment or what's coming out of it. Mark Garman and Ming Chi Kuo are two analysts who kind of predict um, what Apple is going to do. Um, also in Apple news or in also in Apple news, um, iOS 18, Mac OS 15, iPad OS 18 and other updates will be launching on September 16th, probably at about one eight or 1 PM as they want to do. So go forth and update all the things again. Remember none of these updates will be coming with Apple intelligence that is um, going to be included with uh, um, iOS 18.1. I imagine iPad OS 18.1 and Mac OS 15.1 for eligible devices, which I own two of. Well, technically three. Why would you restart it? It's not until September 16th. It, you're, you're good for like four days. Really? And in social media news, I uh, got you. Blue Sky now lets you post videos. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, I tested that theory. Swift, swiftly as I, after I read uh, Major's uh, post about it, and I'm like, I'm gonna test this theory. Yeah, I figured I would too, and posted a meme that I've been posting everywhere else. And it was me, and it was, and it was me punching, punching a guy out, and my character punching another character out in Baldur's Gate. The slumber check, I called it. <laughs> Slumber. <laughs> um, but yep. Yeah, so you can now upload video on on blue on blue sky, which is okay. awesome. You can upload. You're allowed up to twenty five video uploads or ten gigabytes of video per day. Ooh, excuse me. So have fun with that. Oh, you only share videos up to 60 seconds long. Perfect for your uh, TikToks and reels. Oh, yeah. Twitch, Twitch clips. Well, that was a very short tech session. Now let's get into the gaming section where all the things popped off this week. Yep. Starting with the voice actors, uh, voice actors union has signed a deal with 80 individual games as the strike continues. Um, strike is still not over, but 80 individual studios are like, cool. We agree to your terms. 
Would you work with us now? Um, da, 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 da. doesn't say which ones in this article. Don't see a link to it, but um, <clears throat> Lightspeed LA currently working on its debut game, Last Signal, as well as Arc Survival Evolved Developer Studio Wildcard and Indie Studio Little Back Games. But the big boys are still sitting outside. Mm hmm. Um, this coming in just before going live, the entire staff of beloved game publisher Annapurna Interactive has reportedly resigned. Oh, Where? Annapurna Interactive, the game company fo famous for publishing indie hits like Stray, Outer Wilds, Gorgoa, Neon White, What Remains of Edith Finch, and many more may not be the same company anymore. Bloomberg reports that the entire staff of Annapurna Interactive, the gaming division of Megan Ellison's Annapurna, has resigned after failing to convince Ellison to let them spin off its game division into a new company. Let's see, IGN is also corroborating the report. Wow. Former President Nathan Gray, Anapreneur Interactive Executives, and around two dozen staffers have resigned. Bloomberg reports an Annapurna spokesperson told Bloomberg that existing games and projects will remain under the company. Annapurna didn't immediately reply to a request for comment from The Verge. So, yeah, here we are. People starting to realize that they have the power here. Mm -hmm. Which we love to see. Indeed, indeed. I guess that movie based on Stray ain't going to be happening. Yeah. Well, well, no, nah, no, it's still Annapurna. Yeah. So yeah, they could still make Stray. Stray yeah, the Annapurna, Annapurna still arm. own. Yeah, like Annapurna still the owns arm. the um, rights to Stray too. So it just won't be the same. Mm -hmm. But in staff leaving. The regular way, like, no, no, I'm sorry. I can't make it work. I'm still coming down off of something. Don't mind me. <laughs> Between that and being sick. Uh, uh -huh. I could change Eurogamer versions. Wow. Okay. Okay, yeah, I remember version. I think I no, not version four. I remember version five. I mean, it was twenty eighteen. So, yeah. um, anywho, back to 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 the terrible news. Embracer owned studio Lost Boys Interactive impacted by another round of layoffs. Yikes! Yet again, today is a challenging day. Yeah. Um, and they sure were spicy in their commentary on it, where CWA was, yeah. I, I still think that's a different story. This one is a different thing? Yeah. That's how often it happens. Yep. Um... See, writing on LinkedIn, the studio said it had made the di very difficult decision to reduce our overall headcount and accordance with local laws and, co and consultation processes. What laws? Look, wait, the local laws that you had to fire people? What is that the what these people are saying? Is that what these people are saying? That That's what they're saying. Also, yes, Merge, Sin is here. Oh, I am very present. Hello there, West Coast Sin. What laws? Uh, 
Um, Boss Boys also noted that they needed to adapt to shifting market conditions. There it is. Um, within the video game industry, which has seen multiple layoffs to studio closures in recent years. Y'all gonna play with one person's job too many and that's gonna be a wrap. I promise you that. Decisions involving staff productions are never made lightly and this action was taken only after considering all other options. Nope, it I definitely mean, wasn't because the other option was y'all could pay your CEOs less. Right, like, did you consider firing yourself to provide more money for staff? Did you take a pay cut? Like, to keep it up, band in a buck with y'all, y'all can find work. A lot of y'all fail upwards. I mean, honestly, sideways. to keep it abandoned a buck, you don't need work. Look how much mm -hmm. money you have. Are you kidding yeah, me? Make, yeah, y'all make millions, if not millions and millions of dollars. Like, to be fair, Lost Boys Interactive could have run without you. Mm hmm It could have just been a collective. It could have just been a collective. With, like, a shot caller. And then that's about it. And then somebody to run the PR. That was it. And a third party to run a PR. Like, like um, No, why, why a third party? Get more workers in the company. That's what I'm saying. You can get either a third party or you get other people. Or you get like a different pe people, but you don't have to have a middle middle management. You just run. You just run it. How many games have run? How many games have been developed by like one person? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna say a lot. Plus, plus you plus it's a good times when you need a PR agency because sometimes you don't know what you're talking about. Sometimes you be you might say things that may not say that we've had the developers definitively saying the wrong thing. <laughs> You know, I figure PR was in marketing, you know, same thing. Yeah. Marketing for good and marketing for bad. Yeah. Spin so, room. Yeah. Um, but yeah. We don't need C level folks. We really don't. We and don't. As, um Diogen mm -hmm. said, uh, when they get fired, they get a golden parachute. Like they get a, they get a golden parachute. Fire yourselves. Yeah, and many and many people many people could spin get spin themselves off to other corporations to run them in the ground. Riccatello, <laughs> I know we're coming up to that, but Riccatello, <laughs> like no, they just don't need to go to other companies. Just don't go anywhere. Just 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 fade just into obscurity. Because that's the thing, though. You can fail, and the worst thing that happen and the worst thing, and the only thing that happens is you get fired, then you go go to another place. <laughs> But what if they just got fired and went nowhere? But see, that's the problem. They don't go nowhere. We should, they do, have we to should do something. About they should. That. We should do something. They about should. That. We should. Yeah, we, not they. We should do something about that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um. Speaking of people at the top doing some fuck shit and people at the bottom paying consequences. Midnight society confirmed significant layoffs due to multiple unexpected challenges. I wonder what that unexpected challenge challenge or what one of those unexpected challenges were. PDF file shenanigans. <laughs> I wonder if if there is a single point of failure for 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 the failure just just a single point of failure mm -hmm. I, I i i can only imagine what that is yep could only imagine what that single point of failure is they not they not getting a golden parachute. They getting a lead balloon. A uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, millstone around the neck 
kind of treatment, you know. Don't don't tease me with a good time, Kevin. <laughs> This is what happens when you put toxic personality as a personification in oh, yeah. places of power. Yep. When your whole brand when your whole brand is tox it's toxic dude bro. And that is your whole that is your whole persona. And now that persona has become persona non grata. First of all, how dare you speak in such a manner? Y'all should be grateful that I even blessed you with my genius. Look at what I did for Twitter. <laughs> Wait. Did I tell you this weekend I saw one of those low res four wheeled polygons? No. I met you imagine you was just having a good day, sun was shining, the birds were singing, and all of a sudden you're in a good mood, and all of a sudden you see a cyber truck. No, I mean that's what, that's actually what just, happened. I was, I, like, I was. That's really what happened, though. Like it was. Why are they like that? <laughs> no, I'm just. Like that? I was just casually like riding down the road or whatever, oh. talking to a friend of mine on the way home, and I saw one of those, and I'm just like, "Oh, that thing is so ugly!" Like, God damn. Anyway, and that's like that was the exact reaction that I had, and they just kept talking. Like I had, it, and they were just like, "What happened?" I saw a cyber truck. Mm-hmm. I tell you. But probable Cybertruck owner, guy, Dr. Disrespect Beam, um, recently went on to, so yeah, on top of the layoffs here, this man had the actual audacity to blame the Twitch, uh, the former Twitch employee for his misfortunes. The former what what misfortune? I guess his current falling out with YouTube and you know his company failing. Um, I wish him further misfortunes. So he goes on to say, and Cody Connors, which is that Twitch employee. Um, I just have to say it again. Why you? Why would you do this? Like I said, this was handled professionally years ago. No fucking wrongdoing. Bro, you you did a bad. That that's did, wrongdoing. Like, the well, I mean, it's like, it, gonna, just because wait, hold on for a moment. Just, just because no wrongdoing. Because how did they? No, no wrongdoing. So like, what what did you get clapped up for? Again, that's billions of dollars in a settlement, but no no party admits wrongdoing. Yeah, that's bullshit. Because don't you had to pay? <laughs> I don't pay if I ain't did shit. I'm sorry. That that's how that works. Um, I don't care if my company goes under. I do not pay if I ain't did shit. Um, but because of you, Cody, we just lost. Unfortunately, we have to lay off people from Midnight Society because of you, Cody. Through all of this, we are where we are, and like a fucking man, I'll accept it. But I don't accept sitting quietly by and let these idiots attack me with false accusations. But my God, you admit it. You but admitted like, it to the thing. Hold on for a moment. Were, you edited I, it. We are we are holding a couple times. We are holding you accountable for those okay, actions. Okay, but the false out the allegations, right? Are coming from your Twitter account. Were you falsely accusing you? Like what what happened there? Yeah, this this dude is not a man. If you were a man, you would admit it to the fucked up shit you did. So I blame everybody else, but I don't know. I, I feel like that's just what toxic white folks do. You know, like I don't go here. I'm very general. let the miscreant scrap or whatever when it comes to this sort of stuff. But um the nonsense and the foolery of it, what is that? Foolery. Yeah, this is. <sighs> Shenanigans. Yeah, I, I don't know. Just don't play stupid games. Don't win stupid prizes. I'm just saying. 
This is all your fault, dude. <laughs> <sighs> but it gets worse. Games industry layoffs, not the result of corporate greed and those affected should drive an Uber, says ex Sony president. Those affected should drive an Uber. It's, give, it's giving let them eat cake, I fear. <laughs> Exxon Computer Entertainment Europe President Chris Deering does not believe recent layoffs across the game industry have been a result of corporate greed. Instead, workers who have been who have lost their jobs should drive an Uber or go to the beach for a year until empo- un- until employment settles. Drive an Uber or go to the beach for a year. Did you? Jesus H. Comma Christ. Like, did you even hear the words that you said out of your face? Jesus table flipping Christ. What is this? Mm. What of all the most out of touch eight by five and eleven speak? During knowledge, recent layoffs at Sony, including London Studio, but noted if the money isn't coming in from the consumers on the last game, it's going to be hard to justify spending the money for the next game. Okay. It is the complete and utter foolishness of it for me. He continued, I think it's probably very painful for the managers, but I don't think that having skills in this area of game dev is going to be a lifetime of poverty or limitation. It's still where the action is and it's like the pandemic, but now you're going to have to take a few, figure out how to get through it, drive an Uber or whatever, go off to find a cheap place to live and go to the beach for a year. Excuse me, but keep up with your news and keep up with it because once you get off the train, it's much harder. Hmm. Really? Just. What can you even say to this? Like we have lost more people in this industry. Like before summer began, than mm-hmm. the entirety of twenty twenty three. And that was and that was a lot. 2023 was Intel was some hard cuts. Intel cut yeah the same amount of jobs as the entirety of the game industry in 2023 Mm -hmm. in just one go. One go. And so you got to think to your you got to think to yourself if you're like let go like a where am i gonna go and what exactly am i gonna do or do you go the route of saying like well screw it i'll just make my own game (laughs) or i'll just do collaboration you know i'll just do a collab and like that's when you see so many studios start to form like smaller studios start to form up because of these devs and those devs because they got to like gather together and kind of like make something you know and because you know if they don't code they don't eat you know so they got to do something you know and it's it suck it really does suck because you know it's like and when you talk about it's like core staff and people aren't and people aren't getting cut are like the freelancers 
or the ones that are coming in to try to become core staff. This is core staff getting cut. And that, like, that doesn't give a lot of people confidence. That doesn't give a lot of confidence, not in the industry, but those who are the consumer who want these games, who love these games, and give them the confidence that they're going to get games that they want to play or that they're even interested in. Because they don't know if that if they're going to be like, cool, I'm happy about a project, and then that project doesn't exist anymore. Or that project isn't a thing anymore. And it, it, it's, 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 a shitty, it's a shitty situation. And I'm like, everybody, and everybody's catching it. And even the bigger indies are feeling, are feeling the crunch. I feel in the heat. So it's just sad, bro. It's just really sad, dude. That we're kind of we're kind of going we're 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 going through this because this can't this can't continue this cannot continue to go the way that it's gonna go for too long, and something's gonna give. I mean, yeah. This ain't sustainable. This is not sustainable, dude. It's like, I mean, it's I'd not. Mark, I'd, I'd make the argument that the whole system is not. Like, I'm pretty sure if we were like consumer I, electronics, like like home appliances weekly, that's not, that's not sustainable either. Yeah, like we could talk about any industry and how. Oh no, GE is letting go their refrigerator staff. Hmm, right. I wonder why. Oh no, Samsung's washer and dryer division. What ha- what's happening here? Yeah. Cause it's 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 just what it's just one of those things like, you know, you can exert that for anything. And and that's and that's and that's like, you know, and e- either one either way, that's concerning either. But in the gaming sector, when it's like people ain't got but it's like I say, pe- but when you break into the gaming sector, when People don't got a lot. People don't already are like razor thin when it comes to games margins. When it comes to games, and you know, and like you know, games are getting like more expensive and less stable. Whether to being like cor- like out now corporate greed, you find out real quick. Hey, maybe I might have less time for games. If I know all the games are going to be shitty because there are not a lot of people that are going to be making sure that the games run well, but the cash shop is pristine. That the that the battle pass system is on point. <laughs> so I think people are gonna have a lot. Of, I think people are gonna have a lot less time for, for you know, games that you know, games from these bigger bloated you know, unruly ass companies when they could just play something that's smaller, more niche, you know, more cheaper and that kind of respects their time, this their time as a player. So that's what it is. It's the way that you said bleach bond bad built. <laughs> Who me? Like I was yeah, about these videos like talking about like the the Floating games and things like that. I'm just like, come yeah. on, alliteration. Yeah, because it's like, bro, you, <laughs> you know, it's like, like I just can't, I just can't for the life of me understand where it's like, like people are like, people are really truly not having a lot of money for games, and then you being we, and then all of a sudden this game comes out and it's broken, but seventy dollars though, and the cash at, and the cash shop works, the DLC. Sound awesome, Eververse killing it, and the game's broke. <laughs> so, yeah, all I can say is I just can't wait to 28, 28. Come on, okay. unions, sign on to the agreement. Got four years. We got four years to prepare for the general strike. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. 
It can make fans consumers feel like, why would I want to invest my time into a game that doesn't want to invest in their staff and will make jobs without a moment's uh, will, um, cut jobs without a moment's notice? Um, Thank you. That part. <laughs> What's going on, that Evo? Part. <laughs> we need more gamers like that. The problem is we don't. Mm-hmm. And then it's and, gamers and then it's don't like, care. But what they'll do is when shit is bad, they'll direct they'll direct all anger to the highest level female on the staff. Mm -hmm. Or find Sweet Baby or whatever company is in to just do some innocuous thing. You made my game terrible and woke and now it's bad. Mm -hmm. So no, dog, it's the execs, the guys that look like you. The guys that look like you, the guys that act like you, the guys that think like you are the ones. And you know, and you know, it's it's this it's this the thing, the back and forth that we had with like Concord. I don't know if Concord's on Concord on all this. Of what? Of things to talk about. No, that was last week. Okay. So I'm just rehashing it again. So the whole thing, so, so the thing, the, the thing that I didn't like about about the, a lot of the Concord discourse, it, it didn't, it did not, it all focused, it, it all focused on the whole anti woke, anti DEI, anti woman, anti trans, anti anti queer move like themes, anti non binary themes of a game, of like the things of a game. That's like, oh, there's women, there's women in it with there's a woman with blue lipstick. Oh, there's a trans character. Oh, that's why the game failed. And it's like none of that. It was like the core pillars of why Concord failed was A, charging forty dollars for 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 uh forty dollars for a uh uh free to play game, a bloated live service model, um hardly hardly a clear understanding about what the game was and how did it play. Um, uh, assuming that we would all stay for a um, story for these like wonderfully, you know, intricate story um, trailers, weekly trailers that a explain the game, but y'all don't explain the game and what this what is this world about and what it is, and you're then having characters that are either designed nicely but not really coherent in the story with like a slight theme of Guardians of the Galaxy without really committing to the Guardians of the Galaxy aesthetic. <laughs> so all. let's talk about that, Kevin. Right. Mm-hmm. Because um, without, like there's some extras that we'd have to get into here, but I'm going to just keep this to the context of, I had to have that exact discussion when I went home to go visit family just, right. um, just this past weekend. Mm-hmm. Cause they were just like, you know, that Concord failed because of DEI efforts. And I'm like, do you know what that... And I'm just like, okay, let's talk about this. Let's, let's, let's talk about it. this. Let's unpack this. I'm just like, we're, I'm going to open that suitcase real quick for y'all. Do you know what that... Do you know what DEI is for, what it does, or what that what those words mean? Right. And I'm just like, let me go ahead and help y'all real quick. DEI is the reason that your games have closed captions and have colorblind modes. And why, if you decide that you That's want to have a character really. with your skin tone... Mm-hmm. and your style of hair that mm-hmm. you can find a character in a, or you can make a character in the character creator that has your skin tone and style of hair mm-hmm. because people who look like you should be seen in and make and develop and play games. Mm-hmm. Should be the end. As su- like, you should be referred to as such. And we're going to have to learn how to be careful about the words that we use because there are people who are just like, because we decided to have games with closed captions on it, whole companies are failing. Or because right. we decided that brown people exist in a game, that that game is going to fail. And mm-hmm. I cannot be related to you and not do the and not do the appropriate work of telling you right. that is we, not what any of that means. We have we have we have to clock we have to tap in and clock in with people to let people know what it is. And then there was uh, the whole thing of like, well, I don't like, I don't like gender, I don't like gender affirming, gender affirming things and treatments. I don't understand gender affirming. And I, and I say, have you ever had a haircut? Come on, Kevin. Did you ever have pomade? 
Are, are you talking about dude who said the fucking complained about the pronoun options in Starfield? Oh, that. Will you yes. get? Will you get barely see the character? Pretty, therefore, oh yeah. How would oh, yeah. you know? How would you know? Because you don't even see your character. I mean, you do. You want to know You what? do. You do. But still. Right. But then it's like pronouns, whatever. Okay. But that's what I'm saying. It is like and you had to go like, out of your way to find it. That was the thing. Right. Right. I, I think I so skipped it the first time. Didn't even know it was there until after the fact. Then when I, I rerolled the character, it's like, oh, it's right there. Right. Why were we mad about this? <laughs> right. Exactly. But then it's like, but then it's like, oh, well, it's like, oh, but I don't understand about gender affirming care. It's like, have you ever had a haircut? Did you ever have your braid, hair braided? Did you buy shampoo? Deodorant. Did you ever buy, did you ever get Botox? Do you go to the gym? Do you go to the gym? Do you, do you comb have your, your hair? Do you have your prostate exam? Right. Do you have, you know, have you seen a doctor? I mean, did I feel like those are, shirt? I feel like buy, those are just general things. That's why I'm trying to find something specific to me. <laughs> no, anything that is affirming you is gender affirming care. I don't feel very affirmed. Right. It's, it's, that's what I'm saying. I don't I'm feel saying, very like, affirmed. Now, keep, now keep in mind, I'm talking to, I was talking to family at the time. And it's also like, there's a diff, like for them, it was just one of those, y'all are just absorbing inf inter, like information from yeah. the internet. Y'all right. don't understand where this stuff is coming from in the way yeah. that I do. And therefore I kind of feel responsible for being like, hey, let's talk, let's unpack that real quick mm -hmm. because y'all can't do that, right? right. But like they weren't being malicious about it. It was just kind of like, yeah, I heard this, and I'm like, do you know what that is? And you know then they were just means. like, oh, we had no idea it was all that. Right. And I'm like, yeah. and this is what you, this is what we this have is, it here for. Yeah, this is what this show exists for. Right. It's it's like oh, it's not just that. It's not just that. Also, it's not just that. But it's also have you have you ever been diagnosed for low T? <laughs> um, is your name Joe Rogan? Right. Did you, yeah. Did you ever have to take supplements? That's just affirming care. Anytime you've ever trimmed your beard, anytime you've ever trimmed your beard or trimmed your chest, that's gender affirming care. I don't understand what we're talking about. Oh here. shit, I've been exposed. Exposed is what? Being a human being? No, the Zoom window that I was watching. Uh <laughs> Like it just so, it just yeah, suddenly popped whole, up as oh shit! Like the whole like the, what I just said the whole cosmetic industry is gender affirming care. <laughs> Sephora and Ulta is gender affirming care. Hell of you, hell of you use tax. Gender affirming care. <laughs> I um, don't recommend it, but it is. <laughs> like Kevin has mentioned, barber shops. Hair salons, yes. going trucks. to a Pilates class. Yes, cyber yoga. Trucks. Yeah, you know what? Ford F three fifties. Yes. Did you dear people, you, dear people who regularly go to the a gym, got a, a Bugatti, pump covers, a McLaren, gender for me. <laughs> Most cars don't count. What's going on, Taku? How you do it? <laughs> Yeah, hmm. but that's what I'm saying. You can literally, you can literally say everything is gender affirming care, and it is. It you could say that it is, and that it is. It is that. You know what? I'm gonna put one out, and that might be controversial. Strip clubs for both. Uh -huh. Depends both, on who. Both? For for, does, for does, the for the for the for the workers. Mm -hmm. Doesn't and matter, for the doesn't patrons. Matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if it's King of Diamonds or Thunder Down Under. It it is what it is. No, what what I meant, like, yeah, like for the employee, not not for both types of. But like, would the would the dancers? You're doing a lot of explaining for people who understand what you're talking about. Ah, right? look, shut man. up. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I'm we coming all down. know, I'm bro. Coming Stop explaining down. stuff am, that people don't understand, I, I, man. I am, I am coming down from something. I'm not quite sure I understand what the hell I'm talking about. So I, I Look, feel like man. you just need to, Look. we need, like, Jesus no, like, Christ. listen, I'm not, 
I am not bothered by this because I already know that we're having an elevated moment. I am right. just taking all of that in stride. Right. Damn it, where's, where's my chocolate? <laughs> yeah, where's that? No, no, ruin. No, nobody is talking. I don't even know how the hell we got the gender affirming care. I got I I took us there. I took us there because it was like let's let's talk because it's one of those amalgam of other topics that we talk that you know that oh, need wait. to be addressed. Oh, we talk about DEI. Right. Yeah. Like we were talking about we were talking about DEI <laughs> and then also I was saying like oh, also we about Concord. Yeah, also, I'm walking. I'm gonna walk it back, baby. I'm gonna walk it back. Well, yeah, walk it back. But anyway, I, how do we I'm get saying, the concord? I'm, oh, because right, you asked I'm, if we talked about concord, right? And I just brought up con and I brought up concord we were, because it's like because we need because it was really we need to have the conversations in the for and in for the gaming industry and for other people to explain to them that everything is not often go woke or go broke. It's the it's combinations of corporate greed, rampant mismanagement, and complete utter hubris and un and and complete utter like I would say hub I would say don't want to say hubris again or just big headedness. I don't know, but I just like we're just, that, just out here just unchecked fuckery is what's yeah, happening out here. Unchecked fuckery, exactly. That's the word. Because again, it's literally because of of upper and middle managers killing projects because it's not making all of because it could it sh it has the propensity to make all of the money or it doesn't make sense. Don't forget your shareholders. Or, right. No, the shareholder no the shareholder all the shareholders do is just to make money and then the core emerge and then the management try to please the shareholders. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like they were also complicit in this line. Right, the, we the, keep the, about, the we, shareholders is like we want money. We want our money to be. We want our money to money. It, and they're like, if they don't make their money, money, they the shareholders boot them out and get somebody that money's their money. All this talk of managers and Takao is going to be in here in like two minutes. Oh yeah, but anyway, especially given that Microsoft is on, we're, we're on that war path to Microsoft right now. But yeah, but uh, yeah, that was that was my that was my that was my little tangent. It's like we need instead of having the stupid arguments, we need to go ahead and have and point the blame to the people that deserve it, and but name we, them and shame them. But we the constant refrain on this show. But yeah, that's going to take elevating people's class conscious. So that so it just takes time. Not, we not argue, again. Not arguing that. Literally, be doing that like once a week. Right again. That's what not we do. arguing it. Not arguing. I'm just saying like. That's a hurdle that's going to mm -hmm. take a long time until unless like some big fuckery happens. Mm -hmm. and, and like, yes, I feel like we are barreling towards it. And that's why I also mentioned too, like this isn't just a games industry thing. I don't mm -hmm. I don't think that something's going to happen in the games industry where the game industry fixes itself and nobody else no. does. I think something else is going to happen first. Right. But then the games industry, like because it's all a part of capitalism. It's right. all just going to get folded in. I don't think the like I don't think what industry is going to fuck up and fix itself. No. And then everybody else is suffering. Like I think one industry is going to fuck up and it's going to fuck everything up. Mm -hmm. And I just can't wait to see what that is. Right. Because as someone who was trained who was training in this stuff, it's like we just got to keep that lookout. So all right, well, is this it? This is why mm -hmm. I'm looking towards um 2028 right now because like, this might be it. Maybe something happens before, but hey, just like you know, you got four years <laughs> to find your mm -hmm. community, get to know some folks, and prepare. Right. Because when the UAW stops, the teachers union stops, and hopefully in those four years, other industry, um, other other industry unions or other unions in general join and then stop. <sighs> just be ready. All I'm gonna say is just be ready. So I'm just waiting for Major to be like, my goodness today, my goodness, goodness gracious. Every day I wake up, look at the news and say, all right, who who who's who's putting more rage in the machine? Like I, I wanna I wanna like a, a, a what was it a I think it was a doomsday clock, but for unions. 
Like, I want to see where we are, like how many minutes to midnight we are from like a general strike that isn't in 2028, but before. Um, hey, but I might have something to lift your spirits. Would you like a new console? Keep in mind, they also are sourcing um, components from um, conflict countries and are reaping the benefits while the people in those countries are not. Let's talk about the PlayStation 5 Pro, which was definitely not going to be talked about on Tuesday. It has the GPU upgrade, advanced ray tracing, and PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution to take players to new heights. Would you like to witness Play Unleashed? No? Never. <laughs> Cause, 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 real, cause, really, why? For no disc drive, for no disc drive, and no vertical stand. Even though, as I, as I, as I've the seen, the slims as don't have. Y'all seen, well, I mean, the slims don't have that either. But see, here's the thing, though. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have your, you shouldn't have your PlayStation Five vertical anywhere because it's not good. It's not good for the liquid metal. It causes dry spots in the liquid metal. That's why you should have it always have it vertical because I mean horizontal because that way it allows the ver the, the liquid metal to settle. <laughs> and also, uh, you know, so it's good it's good for that anyway. Vertical stands only for the aesthetic but not really good but not really good for your G for your APU for long periods of time. The small price of $100. Nope. Absolutely not. <laughs> no. But there are already like 50 games confirmed for it. No. <laughs> Just Absolutely look at it. it. It's so pro. No, nah, I'm good. Great. They've gone to floating consoles again. Kev, it's even ribbed for her pleasure. Shut up, Major. <laughs> Man, just look at that super, that, that spectral super resolution. Look at those high frame rates. You get up to 120 frames per second. And that ray tracing, advanced ray tracing. Kev, how can you pass this up? It's the PlayStation 5 Pro with the vertical stand sold separately. I don't got $500. You think I got $700? Oh, yeah. We forgot to talk about that. It is $700. That is a weird picture to, to look at. Um, thought you were going to say beer, but a new console will do. I wish that's I had right. Beer. That's I wish, right, Alpha. I Who wish got, I had beer. Who's of whose dollars? Five hundred. Five hundred. What were you? Five hundred dollars. Seven hundred. No, eight hundred bucks. What, Ain't no, it? no, that's what. No, he was basically saying what I said. They were basically saying what I said. I like. I don't got five hundred dollars. What makes you think I got seven hundred dollars? Of whose money? Look. Of whose money? Look, with this mine? much power, Not gamers mine. will want two jobs. They want to work two jobs so afford it. You know, because I forget that this is an audio podcast. I forget I have to say some things that are happening on the live stream or on the YouTube video later that audio listeners are missing out on. 
Kev has now taken off his headphones because he does not want to listen to me talk about how he would need two jobs to, <laughs> as he does it again, <laughs> to afford the power. Oh, now he's just leaving. He's he's gone now. To unleash the power that is the PlayStation Five Pro. Do I so people already got got to work two jobs? Do you just add another two? Yeah, look, there's a lot of people who keep texting me on Telegram and WhatsApp about these remote jobs. Maybe they had the forethought to say, hey, we know that a PS5 Pro is coming out. You should work one of these remote jobs on top of your actual job. And then you can afford a PS5 Pro. Ruin says um, you should come back. The workforce is waiting for you to get them four jobs or get on your four jobs. I swear, I feel like I'm in a fucking like a like a Harley Davidson bar with this music that's playing. I don't like it. Um, But yeah. So while play while Sony is releasing is is unleashing play, Microsoft is unleashing 655, 650 more people from the Xbox division. Wild. Was that the thing I sent you to the was now that... you can activate your trap card? Oh yeah, the trap card of being like the originally being like, hey, we're going to try to be cool and neutral about our discussion about this and be like, this is unfortunate, but what can we do versus the way that CWA decided to step up that spice is interesting. I mean, they're doing what they should be doing. Again, the CWA doing what unions do. So, hey, um, yeah, look, 60, like 1,900 people. Cool. None of us were affected, but hey, man, like we here for all workers. Oh, y'all did it again, though. Hmm. Okay. See, we might actually have to pull up. And did. Um. So let's see. Xbox chief Phil Spencer announced the layoffs to employees in an internal memo this morning. Um. Oh, yeah, technically today. Um, seen by The Verge, the cuts are related to the Activision Blizzard deal, and Spencer makes it clear in his email that no games, devices, or experiences are being canceled and no studios are being closed as part of the layoffs today. Um, and of course, tell me if you've heard this before. As part of our aligning our post acquisition team structure and managing our business, we have made the decision to eliminate approximately 650 roles across Microsoft gaming, mostly corporate and supporting functions to organize our business for long term success. Spending $69 billion, I feel like is not getting yourself ready for long term success. It really isn't. Especially when you have have said, you know what, we can, we're totally fine being third place. <laughs> we are, we are more, we are more than happy to just be in the room. <laughs> we are more than delighted to just be in the room. <sighs> Let's see. I did. Did I put those tweets up somewhere? I thought I did. No, I closed that tab. Boo. Don't mind me. I'm going to go find something. There we go. Um. 
Um, so yeah, these are the posts that came in from CWA. Um, while CWA represents members of Cinemax, Raven, and Blizzard Albany, we will not be impacted by these cuts. We are heartbroken that the lives of so many dedicated and talented video game workers will be disrupted. Every video game worker deserves not only their fair share, but also the peace of mind that comes with having a say over the impact of job cuts. That was from January. Eight months later, Microsoft decision to lay off 650 video game workers is an extremely disappointing move from one of the world's largest and most profitable corporations. This news comes just after Sony Interactive Entertainment subsidiary Bungie announced 220 layoffs in late July. While none of those who are losing their jobs are represented by CWA, we understand how devastating layoffs are to work to the workers and their families. Um, let's see. Samuel Cooper, senior producer at World of Warcraft, a member of the um, WOW, GG, CWA. While we would hope that a company like Microsoft with $88 billion in profits last year could achieve long-term success without destroying the livelihoods of, six, of 650 of our colleagues, heartless layoffs like these have become all too common. We stand in solidarity with everyone who lost their job today and encourage all video game workers to join with us and form unions so we can protect each other. So yeah, if your profits are $88 billion and you can't keep 650 people around, Mm -hmm. we were just talking about com consumer con confidence because what's that human consumer confidence and dev morality because what's that what does that say to compulsion <laughs> what does that say to, what does that say to these game devs they're like yeah i'm making good and interesting games Nigga, them letting go of Tango Game Works was enough of a message. Oh yeah, that was because it was like yeah. just that alone. Mm -hmm. Like the fact that they spent six and nine billion dollars on Activision, they are like dick first in AI now. Um, Microsoft was doing some things, and then just got distracted and now it's like it's like what epic games was like oh yeah we have to let go of all these people because oh no we didn't notice we were bleeding money until like yesterday mm -hmm. i'm like is your dude like was your accountant just playing fortnite all day what the hell was he doing why didn't y'all catch this but then also learning hmm, that was a growing trend of people taking too much money and having to pay it back very quickly because the money won't worth the, the paper it was printed on. Mm -hmm. Yep. But good news for game preservation, Ubisoft actually doing something nice for a change. While the original crew is gone, um, the crew two and crew Motorfest will be getting offline modes. So when the servers die, you can still play your damn game. As it should be. I mean, of course, it'll also allow them to continue to sell the game, but you know. Mm. Do, 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 do you? Complaining for a good reason here. Oh boy, I can't wait to see what the complaint is. Um, While we wait for it. Oh yeah, I also forgot to, to say that, hey, um, I'm playing status. Or you tune in the status where I'm playing game. Mm -hmm. I mean, it won't it won't matter when Ubisoft goes under, except for the fact that hey, I will still have the crew too and crew motor fest. <laughs> it can still play though. If I own them, which I don't. And given this and given how capitalism works here, somebody will scoop up Ubisoft before they go under, go under. That, that oh, come, yeah. that, it's not like a too big to fail, but it's like it's too big for it to not be absorbed by somebody else. Because yeah. those IPs those IPs are gonna be what, what does it for them. Mm-hmm. 
Um, Unity cancels controversial fees to use its game engine tools a year after its introduction. As they should. This is following deep consultation with developers. The, the, the developers. Man, if you don't get this boost. <laughs> this nerd. I've been wanting to call him a nerd all day since I've seen his face. Who? This dude. I imagine it's the new CEO, Matt Bromberg. The new CEO of what? Unity. I've, do I care about this? I yes. mean, it's it's the it it was that fee, it was the thing that John Riccatello started at Unity about a year ago. I and really I, was about to say who is John Rigatoni, but you know something fair. I feel like just saying John Riccatoni should have kicked that bet, could just kick that th um that thought into gear. <laughs> you know, Project Five Dollar. Was it Project Ten Dollar? What was it? I forget. It was Project Ten Dollar. Yeah, because it, it was online passes. He making pot? He make pasta or something? Nah, he don't make pasta. We may be making it now. I don't know if he well again CEOs they find jobs like fucking cockroaches they everywhere. To you turn the light on then they scamper. Um, yeah. Unity has canceled the controversial runtime fee for use of its game engine tools, which charge developers for each game install with immediate effect. The pricing plan was introduced in September last year and was heavily criticized by game developers, calling it an astonishing scumbag move, among other responses. Today, in a blog post from new president and CEO of Unity, Matt Bromberg, the company announced it will revert back to a traditional subscription model after deep consultation with our community, customers, and partners. I didn't even know it was in effect. I thought they stopped that shit ages ago. I think they. I think it was a combination of they either did not charge or they were like. Oh, 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 <laughs> maybe, we, maybe we should hold off on that until we have some time to think about it. And okay, so this say, is them you know, officially and, killing it. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because it, cause it was like the, the backlash was backlash in like a mug, you know? <laughs> so they were like, oh. Plus, you know, the, the mass, plus, you know, it was the mass exodus of people, of devs getting off of uh, Unity into like Godot and... Um, unreal. So it basically like is it Godot hurt... or Godot? I'm I don't know. I go either way. Um, I don't know because I have new negative connotations towards Godot. I wouldn't mind if it was Godot. Yeah, merge that so, does not help. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it was one. It was one of those things where it was like, yeah, they were like, oh. We uh, we we did a bad. We did a bad. We did a bad. <laughs> and so, but especially with like whole developers being like, nah, we gonna we gonna go on we gonna go on Godot and uh, Godot and Unreal and basically projects like mm -hmm. the whole Play the Spire two, which wasn't even announced. Had to go. Had to go. Like, yeah, we are moving. We are moving um, engines because of the Unity deal. Because hi, we exist. Also, we're not doing Unity. Yeah, we're not doing Unity. Here's the game. Hey, here's the game we were working on. That we're now having to switch. We have to switch. We have to switch midstream, and then have to and have to come and put it on Godot because. We are not fin we are not finna play we're not finna play these games with Unity. We're done. Peace. And then it was like, damn. Cause I love Slay I love Slay the Fire One. Slay the Fire One is so good. So good. So yeah, some 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 good news. At least some somebody is writing a ship at Unity, even though we have to remember that at the top of twenty twenty four, you need to laid off eighteen hundred employees as part of an ongoing reset. Mm-hmm. And finally, Epic Games really trying to claw to that number one spot and saying, if you are putting a multiplayer game on our platform, crossplay needs to be enabled. Mm -hmm. 
which bat which band in the book with you i loved because anybody can tell you with with this crew you know it's kind of it can be kind of difficult because you're like wait is this game is, is, is this game on like co like you know thing play like cross play because we need to know because you know and so it now makes it it now makes it easier to know hey this game actually will have cross play and i can play and i can buy i can have a game and play with my with my an, uh, an epic game and play with my steam homies so that's also don't forget microsoft mm, yeah Um, so yeah, good news. That's good news coming in from Epic. Also, we have some deals for you. Amazon Prime members, if you are a Prime subscriber, get 28 free games in September. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got them all. Oh, are they available now? Oh, yeah. I should go in. I should go to them. I got them all. Oh, no, there's there's more coming out. Mm-hmm. More. I, it would be nice if these games plugged into Steam. I mean, it'd be nice, but because then I could play them on my Steam Deck. Yeah, I mean, there's there's that uh no launcher thing. <laughs> it's so much work. It's so much work. But then you save money, though. I mean, am I saving money? I feel like mm -hmm. I wasn't spending it anyway. Mm -hmm. Now you know. Now you can be able to play. Because like I say, I can't tell you how many times I have cursed, cursed the golf on all things. Oh, Steam. no. Oh, I'm not saying I need to buy them on Steam. No, it's a right. thing of either I can play them on my Steam Deck or I just won't. <laughs> like, I'm not going to go back and just start buying these games on Steam. Dude, that's what I'm talking. No, I'm saying you can use not you can use. The I oh, was like non Steam launchers. Oh no! On the Steam Deck, I can, no, and that's what I'm saying. I can't get it to work. Okay. I yeah, that's to say like I can't get it to work. It, it's driving me nuts because like every few months I'll be like, Yo, I should try that. People seem to be getting it to work. Why can't I? I'm sorry, I'm not that dumb, but I think what it is is like a lack of patience. That part. It is like I could be doing something else with my time. Do I really want to play Saints Row on the Epic Games Store this fucking bad? No, fuck it. It didn't leave it. Mm -hmm. But then watch I watch I do it and then I get it to work. <laughs> See, don't say stuff. Don't say that. Don't say huh? stuff like that. Don't say stuff. Don't say stuff like that. That's mm -hmm. me. That's me. Yeah, I'm say it. That's I'm me. Say it. That, that's I'm that's say very it. me. Why would you I'm do say that? it? Don't do I'm gonna it. Say it. Oh, no. I'm gonna say it. Uh, mm -hmm, I'm gonna say it. I don't. I don't mm -hmm. like this. Oh well. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so I don't know about y'all, but it's only nine forty-five. We just killed the show. We did. Oh shit. <laughs> And I honestly think I know why. Right. Because of the last time I did something like this. And I did not, not negatively, but it's I do not have the enthusiasm because I don't think I mentally can right now. That's fair. Um, no, no, no. I not be, again, I, I want to stress not because of bad things. No, just you are very mellow at this moment. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and ain't nothing wrong with that. No. There is, there is like, no, I mean, that's like, I think that's like a very well known side effect of gardening. So, yeah, you know. It's, it's taken a little bit longer for it to wear off, which for all intents and purposes, I am okay with. But so yeah, it's, it's like a man. We'd get into debates, arguments. None of that was happening. And I feel like it's just, you know, it's whatever. So I don't know. Maybe we could take some time and talk about some things. <laughs> Who knows? Or we could just leave. So, 
Well, probably you know, like a combination of the two. One of the things that I want to say is, you know, with everything coming up and coming to a head in the next 10 weeks, yes. here's a question for everyone. In your families, respectively, do you find yourself being the locus of conversation about just topics in general when it comes to like social things in the world, whether it's elections or other things. And I ask this because my recent trip back to go and visit my family for a couple of days was very much a thing of people being like, hey, um, I want your thoughts on something. And I'm like, on what? Well, someone on Instagram said this, or someone on my TikTok said this, or something else. And I'm like, I don't know why y'all expect me to be the like the like the main locus of like information for this stuff also they were not prepared for the heat that i came back with and i'm just like mm -hmm. why did you ask me but it's between those things for me right now where it's a combination of when i go places when i am around my people my people are like we have questions and we feel like you are the person among us that is most likely to have a relatively well-informed opinion and this happens, this now happens more often than not every time I go home. Well, all right, before I answer that question, I do want to address Daijin. Daijin, um, I'm like those astronauts who went up to the International Space Station via that Boeing thing and had to get left behind. I'm not coming back down until February. <laughs> um... To, Sin, to answer your question, it's almost the equivalent of being the the like the tech person in your family. And I mean, that's the thing. It's be like it's both of those all yeah. the time. But yes, yeah, because like I've also been the tech person in my family because I was the person in my family who went to school for um, the information systems major. So they came back and I was just like, "Hey, this weird thing is happening with my computer," and I'm like, "Why are you asking me this?" Yep. I mean, it, it, it's a thing of I I realize I'm that person even just to friends and collaborators because once I said three words out loud, I was not allowed to talk about those things anymore. That was a self-imposed rule because I was a guest. And then it became funny because it's like, I know what I want to say. I know how to answer these questions. But Bob ran out of resources. I can't do that. I have extra actions, but I can't do the main action. Damn, I miss Baldur's Gate. I think I got to a part in that game and now I'm like stuck. And it's like, I don't want to have to deal with it because I don't want to keep dying all over, over and over again. Mm hmm. But I got to get, I got to, I got to get back in. I don't want to lose this game. To, to the nah. annals of, uh, you know, I'll come back to it. Now you talking about Baldur's Gate? Yeah. Um, I'm always, I'm always a hundred. I'm always like conscious about that because again, I play, and again, this is not a brag. This is not a. This is not a brag. This is not a flex. This is a cry for help. But I find myself like definitively playing way more of a way more of a game than I usually way more games than I usually do play. And I def and again, it's one of those like what we have dubbed a lot in um on my channel is uh, a a good problem a good problem to have. Like it's it's a good problem it's a good problem to have. It's a good problem to have. Because because yeah, it's like dude, you I'm playing I'm playing a whole bunch of really awesome intricate ass games and i'm trying to like give it all the time and affection that they deserve but sometimes it's like there are just times i just want to like play balatro and just chill or just like i want to play like wildflowers because i've been playing wildflowers i've been since then since that final update just happened i've been playing a criminal amount of wildflowers and i have been enjoying every minute of it and then like oh critico just came out in early access and but i got time because it's early access and then it's like, oh, you just bought Baldur's Gate. And I'm like, yes, I like Baldur's Gate. And I want to give that all the time. And 
all the love and affection. So, but, how, long, how, so how long before? Because now three out of four of the Tech Talk Thursdays crew has Baldur's Gate. Oh, all of us have Baldur's Gate because Anka has it too. Wait, see, you have it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, um... Yeah. When, when when we when, so when so we, about about that third place. The that's Coast. the question. That's what we got there. Yeah. When mm-hmm. we went to the Sword Coast. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm well. Whenever. Probably the last Thursday of this month, the way that we normally do. Mm-hmm. We we can we can we can do a, we can do a mo we can do a multi campaign. A custom campaign in BG is that available? I know with those modding tools with update seven, somebody figured out how to do super duper custom shit. But do they have custom campaigns yet, or can you create one already? I'm I'm saying like like I'm, I'm update, just re- I'm update seven, yeah yeah update seven just happened. But yeah, so, like there was already like some stories coming out. Like somebody got hit. Somebody access some system level shit. Mm-hmm. Um, which will allow like super duper custom shit. So I'm not sure how far they got on that yet. Okay. I'm it's, one of the, it's one of them like give them a little time. They'll get it. You'll you'll have it. You get the you get to go to Baldur's Gate. Mm-hmm. So where is everybody? Where where is everybody in Baldur's Gate? I know Kev, you just started. I just started. I haven't booted up the game not once. Not once. Oh my god! Ow! I, I haven't even like someone gifted it to me. I haven't even installed it. What are we doing? Wow! So um, I'm, I'm, so you I'm got shooken. two. You got two weeks, man. <laughs> Let me maybe make sure that's accurate. Yeah. So, yeah, got two weeks. So yeah, now now I'm in that I'm in that wonderful position of like I streamed it, I streamed it for uh my Twitch channel. And I and don't get me wrong, I I loved it and it ran like a champ on oh, my it's, stream. It's amazing. It's butter, it's buttery. I can't I'm I'm literally my gas are highly flabbered about how smooth that game runs on my PC. Like, I mean, I know I got 3080 Ti. Thank you, Merge. But also, it's just, I'm just like blown away at how good it ru- how good it runs, yo. Like, now, are you mouse and keyboarding it, or are you controllering it? Oh, mouse and keyboarding it. I, I can't get with the mouse and keyboard. After playing on the Steam Deck, resi- oh, I got hold a button and I can see all the things I need. I don't gotta yeah. scroll. Also, the fact that I could just push the stick and my character goes. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, yeah, this is so much better than pointing to a place, waiting for him to walk or having I, to hold the mouse. It's like, this I'm, seems dumb. I might try. I might try. I might try it out. Dabble with it over the weekend with the mouse and keyboard. You know, see how I feel about it. But yeah, I'm, it is easy to switch between the two to like better than any PC game I've played. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I love the controller layout for it, Just, mm-hmm. mainly because it it's easier to move with a control. Because it's just like it's just it's just it's just so cool. Like I just wouldn't like, even though I would, even though I was talking, I was talking to my, I was talking to the homie Love Lust, shout out to the homie Love Lust, um, about how I'm not a big fan of the um, creator tools. Like I'm not a huge fan of like how you design a create, how you design a character um, with spe- specifically with skin tones. Cause the skin tones, the skin tones are not, the skin tones are not giving what they're supposed to give. And that's disappointing to me um, because you know, I'm definitely like a proponent. I'm definitely a uh, part of that proponent of good quality skin tones. Like skin tone, the skin has to, the skin's got to win, you know. So, um, but everything else has been everything else has been pretty pretty good. The story is good. 
characters. I saw Will for the first time. Will come sliding in, swashing buckles. <laughs> Metastarian for the first, like Metastarian, and I'm like, I get it. Like a Starian, Shadowheart, Lazelle, even though Lazelle looked like she was finna stab me when her first met me. Oh, girl, I oh you one of oh you one of us. Girl, I, man, I was about to shank you. I'm so glad you I'm so glad. Let's get the out of here. Let's get out of here, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, so you must not have found Will. Well No, I found Will. Cause they were about ready to kill each other. Uh, Kevin posted Will, so I know he found him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I found, yeah, I found Will. Um. Mm -hmm, I found, I found Will. Um. But it, it was just kind of, it was just kind of fun. It was just kind of funny, like, oh, yeah, this man comes swat. This man comes sliding in on the rock, stabs him. Like stabs a stabs a goblin, throws him to the side, and be like, "I am the blade of frontiers," and I'm like, "Oh, okay, relax, <laughs> okay, dude. brother, relax. All right, doing too much. All right, yeah, you're doing, yeah, you're doing a lot. You're doing a lot, man. You, you have to come swashing the buckle in like that." And then I'm like, "I did the, I missed, I messed around and jumped. I made Shadowheart jump from from off the top rope like Randy Orton, and she broke her ankles. And then it was like." Will was like, ha ha, and throw, and just yeets a potion at Shadowheart, and Shadowheart just kind of pops back up, and I'm like, you can yeet potions? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, and then, to me. yeah, and I'm like, and then you punch, and then I have punch, and I want a skill check, and I punch the dude in the face, and I was like, that just felt so, that just, oh, that just felt so satisfying. Like that's that's why I'm like I'm that's why I'm like do I want to play that's what I'm thinking to myself do I want to play this game for content or do I want to play this game do I want to play this game purely for like raw enjoyment and I think I'm I feel like you could do both it's that. too damn big I mean it's a chunky game and I think the people will come just for the chunky game just to be like where am I in my in my Baldur's Gate journey. So I think I will do both. I think I will definitely do, do both. Plus the option of doing multiplayer playthroughs, cut like multiplayer campaigns and multiplayer campaigns would be really fun. Definitely a bigger like how we felt about For the King 2, but like massive. <laughs> I mean, and there's also the fact too, you can just roll multiple characters and have one for multiplayer. I mean, one for online or one for stream and, and one for your personal. Oh, don't do like, that. You'd be like, I'm going to be a dick behind the scenes, but I'm going to be like the bastion don't, don't. of truth and understanding in real life. I mean, don't, put that, stream. don't put that in my Don't put that in my head. Pretty I only bad. know no. that because I've been fumbling with saves and shit and ended up with like three different versions of major. I'm like, okay, this is a, this is a lot. Can we do something about this? <laughs> mm hmm Because the way because the way I the way my ass will do it. Like <laughs> So that's why I'm that's why I'm like, but see, even then, even if I just even if I just picked up where I if I even if I just played it where I left, you know, like not saying like, oh, I'm gonna stream it one day and then wait a week and stream another day. But even if I picked up if I just said I'm streaming here. I think this people will just pull up. I think people will just pull up, and I think I will just pull. They just play games and be like, "All right, here it is." And I think people who have played this game and like this game and have played this game before will just probably pop up and be like, "So, if you spoil me, shit, what do you think? <laughs> if you spoil shit for me, I'm come for you." First of all, you no, know I'm, no, I'm talking about somebody, somebody in the chat. Don't nah, you come in here spoiling shit see, for me. <laughs> I, I, you know what's funny? Even if they did, I'd probably be like, cool, time them out and be like, that doesn't bother me. Let's, let's play. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I don't care either, but. It'd be like, cause I just don't want, I just don't want the other people who aren't as pressed about spoilers to get spoilers because I'm like, dude, that's a, dude, that's fucking, that's a dick move. Stop it. You know? That's not, okay, that's I will tell you, I, uh, I will tell y'all for anybody who went on visiting my streams, if mm -hmm. I ever stream this game. I absolutely do care about those. I will ban you in three different I, places. That's that's why I'm that's why I'm really surprised you have not played this. 
Why? Because like here's the thing. It's one of those. Mm -mm. You are the. You are you like, are the tabletop person. BG three and Undertale. Undertale. Well, Undertale I get because I have not played it either, and it's kind of fits in my thing but i'm like oh uh, no like it's one of those things that has apparently like a whole bunch of people who are just like let me spoil a thing and i'm just like nope mm. yeah oh yeah i'm, I'm gonna have it yeah but i'm, I'm like, gonna, I gonna have it it'd be like look i'm gonna be 100 percent with you i don't i don't care if you spoil it but i will but i will i will time you out because you did that to other people who may have wanted to play this game you know, Although I feel or, like for Undertale, there's like, look, the statutes of limitations on that have well passed. Right, but still. Yeah, look, I'm not arguing. Wait, statute with, of limitations on what? Like spoiling Undertale. So here's the here first Again, of all, not arguing that y'all are for lack of a better term, punishing those who do. I'm just saying that is an argument they will use because that game is old as shit. No, like, it's one of those things, right? It's not, like, Undertale has, like, an issue, not just with spoilers, but very specifically with a whole bunch of people telling you mm -hmm. how to play the game. Especially oh, because the game has, game. like, all of these different modes and things, depending on how you play it, about how the game ends. And I'm just like, listen, let me experience the game. Shut up. Okay. So it's kind of like, well, there's going to be a statute of limitations here on things. And it's just kind of like, hey. Oh, like backseat gaming. If, I, oh, I no, get I, that. Yeah, that that's something yeah. you know, like, it's, like, yeah, it's, that's just not cool, period. Oh, yeah. I had I had some I had somebody uh, that was pretty friendly close around to us. Uh, spoil. Not really spoil, but backseated. Um, um, Starfield at the time, and this is when Starfield came out. And I'm, and you know, when I was playing Starfield for a minute, and then it was just like, like breaking on, like, yeah, you can try this, you can try that, you can try this. And sometimes it was informative, but other times it was like, I, I mean, this would, you know, like, oh, okay, I got you. And then many times I'm like, I want to say, I mean, this with no disrespect, but I don't know how long I'm gonna be playing this game myself, and I don't know how long. This game, this game is going to live with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how much, I don't know how long I'm gonna have enough energy to really sustain this game. So anything that you say in me trying to like teach me how to play it is gonna be moot because I'm not gonna probably pick up this game for too long. <laughs> so I appreciate you breaking down like you know strategies and how to do this, that, 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 this. But and 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 that's cool and all, but I don't have I don't think I have enough I don't think I have enough attention in me to continue playing you know like playing this game for long periods of time. But thank you, thank you though, appreciate you, love you. Mm. But you know. again, this is why, and I was very touched at the message that came through Discord last week. Um. With somebody like appreciated, like again, the community that I try to foster here, and again, like it's because of you guys that it works the way it does. Yes. Because it's another one of those things of man, I'm glad I have yet to experience these problems. Right. Cause <laughs> because y'all are cool as shit, bro. It's like and I and I don't and I don't say and I don't say this to like knock you or anything. Like I don't say this to knock you or anything. But it's like like I stream on the reg. Major went, not me. Sin was, when Sin was doing their streaming, they were streaming on Sin on Sin regular basis, and so it's like a lot of us have seen the people that ha that we have seen, and even and we are also mods for others, and so we kind of see that on well, a regular. I, re I, re it's like, I remember those days from back when I was streaming and modding and doing all that shit when. I had mm -hmm. the the mental fortitude to do that, or again right. masking. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, now when it's just like, yeah, this is a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't see it as often as I used to. Right. But yeah, um, yeah, I remember yeah, no. like de like a decade ago. Damn, it, was, it hasn't been a decade. I forgot. Caden turned eight today, and I want to say I've been streaming 
like this for as long as he's been alive. So it ain't even mm-hmm. been a decade, but I've seen it to where, you know, it's a lot of spoiler talk, people being dicks about shit. It's it's exhausting, but yeah, I'm glad like when I do go live when we talk about shit. I mean, granted, it's not like we talk about video games like man, like yo, like when we hit that part and that part, you know, yeah, we're gonna submit a review like a lot of gaming podcasts do. But, like we don't talk about games in that manner. Mm-mm. Right wow. now, this there's a gnat just flying in front of my face for those who are watching. You just good, like wave. A good gnat. Um Yeah. But yeah, like I'm I, I'm still fortunate that yeah, when I do stream Somebody isn't just like rushing into the chat to sit there and tell me things that I can do, or this is what happens when you turn that corner. I mean, mainly because of the fact that I'm playing older games anyway, and nobody fucking cares. Like, mm-hmm. Watch Dogs 2, like, look, I've played it like three times. Like, I know. Mm-hmm. Also, nobody cares about Watch Dogs 2 as much as I do. For sure. Yeah. And luckily, when I was playing Horizon, Nobody was doing that for it for I mean for a game that had been out on PS4 and PS5 for a while. Mm-hmm. Nobody came through and kind of like, oh my god, can you believe? Or look, if you go over there, you'll find like a secret stash of this or like nobody was doing that. Yeah, I. And it was the crazy. one thing. The one thing I have I have definitely liked when I especially when I started Baldur's Gate three is like the level of people being like like excited about you playing Baldur's Gate 3. It's like like oh, you playing my f- it's like oh, you're playing my favorite game too. Nice. What do you feel about it? How do you feel? What do you like? What does your character look like? That kind of stuff. They ask you about like where you're going, which direction you're going, your stats and such. And then it's me being like I like the game, but I'm getting used to the battle the battle system because I'm like, "Oh, oh, like I forget like, oh, I actually have to watch where I'm stepping." Ah, okay. I have to, I have to, you know, like height and elevation. And am I shooting down at something or somebody shooting back up at me? And how does, you know, angles work or, you know, oh my, oh, Asterian got down for the, like, Asterian, Asterian got down for the 15th, for the 15th time. And how do I, you know, prepare for that? And, you know, so it's, it's you basically, it's me learning a whole new battle system with I. I like learning about because you know it's it's cool and interesting, but then it's also I'm dealing with people who are excited to see the excitement on my face and see what I have made when it comes to that. Like when people saw my character punching that guy out, they liked it because it was funny and it was their one apart from their favorite game. So you know that's what makes me want to create be a creator and be a gamer is having people in a being in a part of a community of people who like the game in which you're you're playing and then want to be you know okay break down break down why you like it break down why you're interested break down this that that that, that you know so i do like that i like that a lot but yeah So what what else? I don't know. It just seems like a nice chill day. I'm just chilling. Just chilling. Just chilling the sometimes. Place. Sometimes I mean, that's it. It's like an open discussion because we yeah. have the time. Well, not yeah. as much as we did before when I initially pointed it out, but mm-hmm. it's. Um, anything in chat? Let me, see. Let me see what we got here. There was a. um. What class did you pick, Kevin, for your BG3 oh. character? Um, high elf, no, high half elf ranger. Okay. Um, half elf so, ranger. Yes. Because I was like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to do the umis. So I was like, let me go ahead and uh, play something. But then, you know, I was like, I was like elf, but keep it black. I was like, Fay, but keep it black. And I was like, and so I was like, cool, black Fay. And I was like, black hot, half elf. And so I didn't always say like, oh, I'm half elf on my mama's side, you know. <laughs> oh. So yeah, yeah. Well, Kev told me he was a high half elf. I was like, I am a high monk. 
Oh yeah, you you were high. I was like, what the hell is that man? <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, that man. Oh now God. it's like, oh yeah, it makes a lot of sense now. Okay, okay. Hmm. But um, yeah, it was uh, it was just, it was just, it's, and so when I when I punched that guy out, it was like that person had that person had like was was talking real brazy to like a tefling. And if you've never seen Teflings, it's like basically like horned people with like red skin and like glowing eyes. Um very devilish looking. And so he was called him horns and like foul bloods. And he was talking real smack. And then you had the option to be like, do you punch the Tefling or do you punch the human? And I'm like, Well, first of all, I'm a half elf, so of course I'm gonna punch the human. But my mama. And so I rolled so you have like different you have like strength checks and I rolled I rolled I think I rolled a seven the first time and then I was like oh they give me the option to roll again I rolled I needed 15 I needed 15 I rolled a 17 but then I had two other augments plus plus my uh I think it was the ranger ranger die that kicked me up from 18 to 22 and so once it was like success <laughs> straight minked <sighs> and so when I put that slumber <laughs> get ready to slumber oh that brother gone <laughs> ah so good so good magical times mm -hmm. beautiful gowns yeah, and that 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 uh beautiful gowns. Who are you wearing? So I was like, so then I just said like, well, I might be a ranger, but my hands were in his range. Ah! <laughs> that punch was that punch was in pristine sixty frames a second ultra settings. Mm! Beautiful. So what I'm hearing is you have the you have that high definition. Mm -hmm. I had that high, I had that high definition making. Mm -hmm. So I grew. So I, I, I'm yeah. I'm definitely definitely enjoying it. And I played a little bit. I played a little bit this morning. I think I, I think I just played like thirty minutes. So I just roamed around the Emerald Grove, which I think is like the first settlement that you come to after you like, you know, land hot. <laughs> Um, so I just been like roaming around and just kind of like talking to the people and learning about the, the situation where it's like the Teflings are like beefing with the Druids. And, <laughs> and so it was, eh, it was, uh, oh, it, was pretty, it was like, it was pretty, it was pretty cool. So I'm like, keep at it. I'm going to play a little bit. I'm probably play a little bit more tomorrow and probably break for Fortnite, and then probably play a little bit more of the probably dabble a little bit more of the weekend uh and you know if i feel if it and if it calls to me to stream it then i'll definitely stream it but then i'm probably gonna be thanks to also thanks to merge i'm gonna be playing caravan sandwich so that's probably gonna be on monday so again thanks thank you merge so yeah um yeah so I'm just going to be probably going to be dabbling, but it's going to be enough. But I feel like I'm going to keep playing it. If ain't nothing but just dabble. <laughs> if ain't nothing but just like, I'm just going to play a little, I'm just going to play an hour here, two hours there, and then like save and then kind of like go off and do something else. Like, so yeah. Plus, I do. Plus, I, plus, I love the fact of sca of saves coming and then doing those like, you know, like let me let me go ahead let me go ahead and save pre before a fight or save after a fight. Yeah, see, those mistakes are made so many times on my on my side of not yeah. saving. Yeah, and I remember not saving, beating two different bosses, mm -hmm. and then losing. Mm hmm. And it going right back to before the first boss. I was like, mm -hmm. 
why? Yep. Why? Yep. I was like, mm-hmm. and then when the mods came out, I was like, somebody has to have, somebody had to have made an auto saving increase mod. Mm-hmm. I want this thing to auto save every five seconds. I don't care mm-hmm. how big that save fuck is. It's gonna be like I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to offload my saves to another folder. Deleting <laughs> all the other games on my Steam Deck on my PC. Saves. It, it may it may take me a while to um the cloud sync now, but doesn't matter. Mm-mm. My saves are there. <sighs> so this is where I think Major would ask this question. So I'm going to ask this question. What do you two have going on this week? Let's see. Uh, got a birthday party. Bam, 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 bam. Whose birthday? My son's. Bam, 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 bam. I mean, his birthday is today. But um, we are celebrating tomorrow. We've got a little friend is coming, um, is coming to spend the night, and all that stuff. So, uh, how how old is uh Biden Linux? He is eight years old today. Oh lord, same age as Munchkin. Oh, <laughs> um, he's the same age as Munchkin. And I got a teaching on Monday. I mean, not, not on Monday, but on Sunday. And I think that's about it. I don't think anything. Oh, wait. All the phones have to be updated, I guess. Oh, yeah. Phones, computers, all that shit. Um, da, 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 da. I think that's it for me. Kevin, what you got going on this coming week? Um... Praying that praying that Tree Man uh, shows up uh, on Monday because you know these tre- these trees got these trees got to come down. They got to come down post haste before hurricane season because mm, my my mama and me can't live in fear whenever whenever the wind blows and all of a sudden pine cones and sticks are banging up. Are bouncing off of our roof. We like we just got the roof, the, the the shingles replaced. So so yeah, praying for that to happen. Also, um, of course, Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate over the weekend. I'm gonna make I'm gonna be making a five meatloaf, and um, yeah, just just prep just prepping for prepping for Monday, and I'll probably. Be streaming uh, wildflowers because I did want to stream wildflowers, and then I'll probably just kick like caravan. Too. So it's either like no, well Monday's probably going to be either caravan caravan sandwich, or is it going to be it's going to be either caravan sandwich, or is it going to be um what's that thing? It's going to be either caravan sandwich, or is going to be wildflowers? Whichever one comes first. Most likely, it's going to be caravan sandwich, like. Because this is gonna be me looking for my sister in a desolate, in a desolate planet, not having to, don't have to fight no enemies, just driving to puzzles and doing puzzles. Like, yeah, looking forward to that. So, could be a good chance it might just be par- uh, caravan sandwich, and um, also playing turmoil. Uh, shout out to the turmoil devs, cause yeah, it's about. So I'm gonna look forward to that. I played Turmoil on iPad, on the iPad, and it was fun through Apple Arcade. And uh, Dev got back to me and gave me keys to not only the base game of Turmoil, but all of the DLC, all of the subsequent DLC. So I might be doing a little something, something with that over the week, and then realizing that hey, my TikTok, my TikToks are very um my tiktoks are very dry my 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 uh my new up my upload schedule is very dry so i need to get up on that with new indie game stuff because i post i posted uh slumber and i almost got 300 views so i think i know what i think i know what i need to do now (laughs) so yeah i'm gonna be i'm gonna be posting uh more tiktoks and more instagram reels get back into more schedule with that and uh yeah 
And then also maybe squeeze in some Critter Cove as well. A lot of indie games. A lot of indie games. And yeah, that's about it. Um, For myself, I've been trying to just be, again, out and about in the world outside of my apartment a little bit more often, so. As you should. Mm -hmm. um, you know, doing, you know, like no nothing too wild out here. Um, things like, you know, we walked over to a little Chinese food place and picked up some Chinese food. We went to the little noodle shop and got some boba from there. You know, like little mundane things like that. And nice. most of that just taken to go. Just just enjoying the weather because it's been 70s this week. So that's been nice. And um, there's that. Um, Saturday is more actual tabletop gaming, hopefully, um, around three or so. And hopefully seeing a friend over the weekend. So I'm uh, looking forward to that and maybe stepping out to the grocery store and dealing with my little old lady in the form of my cat. Hi there. She, she is headbutting me at the moment. <laughs> feed me. Mostly with affection. She doesn't need me to feed her. She has an automatic feeder. She just likes bothering me. Mm -hmm. um, so there's that and hopefully, um, let me see. Well, I guess that's mostly it. Everything else is just you know, work projects and trying to, um, you know, keep our heads up in the world as much as we can because, you know, here we are doing the things. Indeed, indeed. Well, with all of that done, I don't think we have much else to say. Is it? Should come to these shows more how I should come to these shows how more often. Like tail in, not not full on. Like not take a piece of chocolate and then towards the end of the show, all I can do is just laugh. Mm hmm I melted on that couch yesterday, guys. It felt great. As you should. Um but yeah, hey, if you are watching the show live you would like to catch up with former ep with previous episodes you can go to uh majors.house slash ttt subscribe to the audio podcast or you can go to majors majors.house slash ttt vid to get to the video playlist of course if you are watching after the fact if you are not watching us live you can come over to twitch.tv slash major linux thursday night eight o'clock p.m eastern for that live goodness take part in the show and see this rainbow colored pig that i have situated on top of my microphone but by the time you get here live this pig may not be here also speaks <laughs> okay um of course if you got some um stuff you would like to send to us ttt at majorshouse.com is a place to do it um also you can join the discord majors.house slash discord that's where we have awesome amazing conversations we are the look of my talk just gave me <laughs> Um, that pig has been there for a while. I don't know. Today it just interests me. Um, damn, what the fuck was I saying? Oh yeah, you can go to majors.house slash Discord. Join the wonderful community. We're trying to build one of the most dope, inclusive, diverse communities for gaming and tech. Interest? Any interest really? Um getting me in trouble i have no big <laughs> i can affect things on the other side of the country this is amazing i have power now um but yeah definitely come on through hang out chill with us it's dope you won't regret it but um with all of that all of um on behalf of Sin, on behalf of Kev, on behalf of the GOAT, Idio Sin Anka. Oh, wait. Also, if you're in the Raleigh Durham area and you um, do Twitch streaming or like to watch Twitch streamers or you stream, make content, um, there is a Twitch Raleigh meetup at the World of Beer. From 1 weekend. to 4 on Saturday. Yes. 
Unfortunately, I will not be there because I thought that event was in the evening. It is not. And it definitely conflicts with a huge, huge thing on my calendar, which I went into earlier. So yeah, unfortunately I will not be there. Uh, but hope everybody has fun, play some mini golf, drink some beer, have a good time, network, collab, do the thing. Um, but yeah, on behalf of all of us, thank you so much for tuning into another episode of Tech Talk Thursdays for September 12th, 2024. Of course, you could have been anywhere in the world watching any stream or you could have been reading the tech and gaming news yourself, but you said, no, thank you. We want to get merged in trouble. Ah. And for that, I say thank you. And all I've got left to say to you is nobody's going to save us but ourselves. I love you. Peace. Ow. Wakanda forever. <laughs>